Sharks are widely known as the premier apex predator in the ocean. <laughs> I laugh at that notion. There are plenty of species under the sea that can give a shark a run for its money, like a 4,000-pound hippo that won't back down from a fight with anybody. Dolphins also are known to charge sharks, hitting them and leaving bruises on their underbellies. Let's explore that a little more as we take a look at 15 animals that could defeat a shark. A spiny dogfish has those kind of small needle-like teeth and they're sharks so they're pretty powerful. They're basically all muscle. Orca vs. Sharks Both the great white shark and the killer whale, or simply orca, are both top predators of the ocean. But recent research suggests that the orca is the more powerful of the two. Scientists monitoring the waters off the California coast discovered an interesting pattern with the two species. Whenever an orca showed up to an area where the white sharks are located, the white sharks are dispersed from the area immediately, every single time. In fact, when researchers examined the whereabouts of 165 great white sharks that were tagged between 2006 and 2013, they found that this behavior remained consistent over the entire time period. In 2017, five white sharks washed ashore on a South African beach. When inspected, it was found that all five sharks were missing their livers. Orca are known to feed on the calcium-rich shark livers, and these sharks all had bite marks that were consistent with markings of orca teeth. Scientists are still trying to determine if this is some type of jump in the food chain or if the orcas are simply trying to intimidate the white sharks to scare them away from their hunting grounds. At any rate, some of you are probably thinking of the Jaws 2 opening scene, where an orca is washed ashore after being killed by a great white shark. It's very interesting to learn that the opposite is in fact the reality. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Hippos? Hippos have an interesting way of attracting their prey. They're known to defecate in the water, leaving a brown murky cloud that lingers in the sea around the animals. This will draw many fish in the location to that very spot. In turn, a group of fish will draw any bull sharks who are in the area. This exchange, caught on tape, catches this luring process. But the unexpected happens when the bull shark takes a bite from one of the hippo's legs. Whether the shark felt bold enough to attack when he knows he's severely outnumbered, or the shark mistakenly nibbed the hippo because he couldn't see in the muddied waters, we don't know. But the hippos did not take the attack lightly either way. The hippos get angry and charge the shark, knowing he's no match for their ferociousness. Luckily for the shark, he's far quicker than the heavy hippos and managed to escape with his life. Those hunted fish could have easily been the shark's last meal. <laughs> giant Pacific Octopus The giant Pacific octopus is a massive octopus and the largest of its family. It can grow to 30 feet wide and can weigh more than 600 pounds. But more impressive than its size is the creature's intelligence. Researchers have witnessed the octopi open jars, solve maze tests, and use tools. Sneaky creatures, they've also been known to open water valves and can wreak havoc if left unsupervised in a lab or aquarium. In this footage, we can see the mud shark approaching the octopus, but the octopus knows its camouflage keeps him nearly invisible, so he attacks. The shark tries to escape and takes a few bites off the octopus, but it's not nearly enough to subdue him. The giant Pacific octopus arms are extremely strong and can lift up to 14 times its weight. Each arm can have up to 280 suckers, which they use to grab and latch onto things. They can even taste with these things. At this point, the shark stands no chance at all. The octopus is gripping the shark, not allowing him to swim which is how the shark receives his oxygen to breathe. Because of this, the shark will eventually suffocate and die. <laughs> Dangerous Dolphins Dolphins are known to be the cute and cuddly creatures of the sea. But this next species has been avoided completely by sharks for years, the bottlenose dolphin. Of course, many think of dolphins as fun, easygoing creatures that you can swim with if you fork over enough coins on your next vacation. But the truth is, Bottlenose dolphins can become extremely aggressive when they want to. They travel in large groups called pods. These pods are not to be trifled with, especially if you're alone. Dolphins are also very flexible and can maneuver under the water, twisting and turning, showing off their mobility. 
Sharks, on the other hand, are the complete opposite. First, they're not nearly as flexible as dolphins because of their horizontally oriented rear fins that severely hinder their mobility. When facing a pod of dolphins, the shark has no chance of escaping at all. Bottlenose dolphins can also use their snouts as a weapon, charging the shark. The dolphins can send strikes to the shark's underbelly, causing internal damage. They can also strike the shark's fins, which is how the sharks breathe. And of course, stopping a shark from breathing will ultimately end in the shark's death. For those reasons, sharks will usually take off when they see these dolphins as a way to avoid any encounter at all. But during the times when a shark is feeling bold enough, the bottlenose dolphin will show why they deserve to be the more feared creature. <laughs> sperm whales. The sperm whale is New Zealand's largest predator and land's most sought out tourist attraction. They're enormous, highly intelligent, and extremely formidable. Their number one food source is squid. They can eat up to 3,000 pounds of it each day. Yum! But what might surprise you is that they also eat sharks. Whale watching is a huge deal in New Zealand. You can watch by boat, but you can also watch by helicopter or small plane if you're willing to cough up the dough. A boat ride could cost anywhere between $100 and $500, depending on the size of the boat and the number of crew and passengers. A ride through the sky will cost you closer to $1,000. On these watching trips, if you're lucky enough, you may get a chance to see a sperm whale hunt down a shark and swallow him up. In a 1980 study into the sperm whale's diet, scientists found several large sharks inside the whale's stomach. I wonder if they used any hot sauce with that. <laughs> croc Showdown What happens when a bull shark comes face to face with a crocodile? Hmm, any guesses? This showdown just recently occurred in Australia. A huge crocodile, measuring in at 16 feet, more than twice the length of the shark, were captured facing off with drone footage. You can see the shark inching closer and closer to the croc, then seemingly aware of the severe size disadvantage, the shark suddenly decides to retreat in the opposite direction. While children splashed in the water and fishermen cast their rods, two apex predators were facing off. The sharks obviously didn't want any part of a fight once it saw how the croc completely dwarfed him. If these two were to go at it, who do you think would have won? Comment below! Big Fin Squid an extremely rare big fin squid has been spotted in Australian waters for the very first time. Only three sightings have ever been recorded in the southern hemisphere alone. Big fin squid have a very unique and distinct appearance. They have large fins that make their width almost the same size of their length. They also have extremely long tentacles that can bend in the same way an elbow does. These tentacles can retract and extend at will and have suckers on them used for feeding. The squid was first sighted deep in the waters, more than 2,100 meters below sea level. The researchers continued to survey and ran into the creatures several more times. After documenting the sizes and body ratios, they were able to confirm that there were five of the big fin squids living in the area. The closest distance recorded between two of them was 300 meters apart. It's actually unusual to find them living so close in proximity. Typically, you'll only find one in a given area, two at the most, but five? This alone proves how much we don't know about these strange and majestic creatures. One thing's for certain, the more research we find, the more we will continue to learn about them. <laughs> the Anglerfish The next creature looks like something straight out of a horror movie, yet the creepy, disturbing, and totally completely unnerving anglerfish. Swimming in worldwide oceans with a face only a mother could love are these ghoulish fish that spend most of their days, well, fishing. A rod extending from their foreheads carries a lure that gives a faint glow to attract prey. Anglerfish can lure the rod, dangling it back and forth to better mimic the living bait it tries to portray. Their mouths can open so wide they often swallow the prey whole. Their fangs lock the prey in, almost resembling bars in a cage. Some anglerfish species regularly consume prey that's much larger than themselves. First studies of this creature were limited to dissecting and the dead anglers that would get caught in the fishermen's nets. That research could only provide so much insight. But recently, because of new scientific advancements, scientists have been underwater more studying the creature's behaviors, not just its dead corpse. Many different types of anglerfish live in our oceans. So far, scientists have been able to identify 168 variants. Some species have two luring rods, one hanging down and one pointing up. Some species even have their hunting light conveniently placed inside of their mouth, giving other fish the surprise of their lives when they try to reach it. 
Hagfish slime. The hagfish's protruding teeth are scary enough to drive away almost any predator, but for sharks, it's the slime. The hagfish, also known as the slime eel, has some serious tricks up their gills, making them some of the sea's most peculiar survivors. Deep sea footage from Macy University researchers show a hagfish defending itself by emitting a choking, thick slime that can actually clog a shark's gills. They can also swim at an incredibly fast rate. Any fish trying to harm the hagfish will get a face full of gooey, mucus-like substance that will cause predators to gag before fleeing. The slime chokes its predators as opposed to poisoning or even killing them. Studies have even revealed that hagfish are not only ocean scavengers but are predators as well. 21st century cameras allow scientists to go further in the deep sea than ever before. Watching these fish and how they live provides so much more insight than simply studying the mangled remains of a dead eel. Recent research has proved that hagfish are at the bottom of the ocean hunting live fish. They've been seen feasting on the carcasses of dead whales and have been known to even repel sharks away. Box Jellyfish The box jellyfish is known to be one of the world's most poisonous creatures. Even a small dose of its potent venom can paralyze a man and make his heart rate stop. While no official numbers exist, experts have estimated that more than 100 people die each year from box jellyfish stings. In the Philippines alone, that's 20 to 40 people each year according to the U.S. National Science Foundation. But because death certificates are not required in many of the countries where the jellyfish roam, accurate numbers are extremely difficult to pinpoint. These jellyfish have tentacles that function like waving booby traps to any creature it encounters. Each tentacle is individually armed and loaded, ready to pierce skin with its toxic needle. For fish in its way, don't assume swimming away is the answer. Some species of jellyfish have 24 eyes, allowing them to see in all directions. And did I mention how fast and agile they are? No siree, fling is not the answer. The Bobbit Worm The Bobbit Worm is an ambush predator, meaning it captures its prey with strategy as opposed to speed or strength. It hunts by burrowing its entire body in the ocean floor, only leaving the antenna on its head out to sense unsuspecting prey. Once detected, it emerges from sediments and strikes like a jack-in-the-box, popping out to scare a child. Bobbit worms don't have eyes, but their five antenna do all the sensing they need. The most amazing thing about this creature is what's actually burrowing in the sand. Have you ever seen the clown cars where an impossible number of clowns just keep emerging from the vehicle? That's the feeling you get when you see a bobbit worm coming from its burrow. It just keeps going and going and going. Some bobbit worms are longer than 10 feet. That's the length of two humans standing on top of each other. Beautiful creatures, some are known to have up to 10 different color morphs that glisten and shine. Their lifespan is about three to five years. However, many bobbit worms never reach adulthood because their eggs are often eaten by other predators. <laughs> Giant Anaconda the green anaconda, or sometimes referred to as the giant anaconda, is a huge snake that grows to an average length of 20 feet. Some are known to reach up to 29 feet, making it one of the longest known species. Because of their enormous size, they prefer to swim rather than to slither on land. This is why they find homes in swamps, marshes, and streams in their native land of South America. But exactly how dangerous are these things? Well, first scientists say that they have the ability to swallow a human whole. Although no record exists of this actually happening, the consensus is that it indeed is possible. However, giant anacondas typically eat prey that's 10 to 20% of its own size. There are times where they attack prey larger than them, such as deer or tapirs, but the snake is risking it being hurt or even killed when they do that. Some large female giant anacondas are known to practice cannibalism feeding on its smaller male counterpart. Some scientists suggest that the male is sacrificing itself to the female who needs additional food intake after breeding. He comes as a ready-made and close source of nutrition that doesn't require any hunting to obtain. I could be wrong, but I don't think that that's exactly what they meant when they say, happy wife, happy life. Contrary to popular belief, anacondas are not venomous. They use constriction to subdue their prey. When an anaconda spots its prey, it will attack by holding the animal in its locking jaws. Then it uses the rest of its body to coil around the animal. Getting tighter and tighter, he doesn't let up until the prey dies from either suffocation or it's crushed. Finally, it unwraps itself from its food and will swallow the dead carcass whole. Due to its very low metabolism, it can go several weeks before they go hunting for another meal. 
most poisonous snail in the ocean. The innocent looking cone snail lives in a beautiful shell that any beachcomber would love to claim as they search in the sand, but inside their shells lies a dangerous secret that can kill you. And the scariest part is that you won't feel a thing. Imagine scuba diving on the ocean floor and finding this illustrious shell. You pick it up, not knowing the snail's proboscis, its needle-like weapon attached to its head, is poking out through your diving gloves and delivering a toxin into your bloodstream. You may not even feel it as the poison is analgesic, meaning it has pain-killing properties. It's like taking a poison shot along with an Advil. The lack of pain is what makes the cone snail so deadly. Most prey doesn't know what hit them. Snails are usually thought of as slow and slimy, but most fish would be fools to underestimate it. Its proboscis can actually draw fish in after it administers the venom. Then the snail swallows it whole. Giant Oarfish Imagine swimming in the ocean and coming across a snake-like creature that is the same length as a school bus. What would you do? My answer is easy enough. It's time to get out of there. Giant oarfish can grow to lengths of up to 50 feet, but these creatures have only been encountered a handful of times. Oarfish are the likely source of the Loch Ness monster myths that continue to pop up from time to time. They're also known to stick their heads out of the water while their long serpent-like bodies trail behind them. These creatures are also featured heavily in Japanese folklore, known as harbingers of tsunamis and earthquakes. Whatever you decide to believe as far as myths are concerned is your business. But if we're sticking with the facts, giant oarfish are generally harmless. Their mouths are small and toothless. They feed simply by swimming in the ocean with their mouths open. Whatever finds its way in is dinner for that day. Pretty uneventful for a creature that has centuries of folklore behind it. The Megalodon Megalodon are massive sharks that lived in the Earth's oceans millions of years ago. Fossil experts estimate that they went extinct about 3.6 million years ago. Today, the great white shark is known as the largest shark species. Scientists estimate that the Megalodons grew up to 60 feet in length, about three times longer than the great white. But these are just estimates. Without a complete megalodon skeleton, scientists' best chances of coming up with an accurate assessment based on the teeth we find from the creatures is just kind of like a shot in the dark. After all, megalodon simply means big tooth, and the large serrated teeth suggest the apex predator ate whales, large fish, and probably other sharks as well. Many whale skeletons have been found with the megalodon's teeth marks etched in them. In order to attack large prey-like whales, the mega sharks must have had enormous jaws that are estimated to span 10 feet wide. These jaws contain 276 teeth that continue to grow and be replaced throughout the shark's life. Depending on what's on the menu, a megalodon can lose a set of teeth every few weeks, growing up to 40,000 teeth in their lifetime. And with teeth about the size of a human hand, I'll tell you this, if you're thinking about challenging the megalodon, I'll be the first to tell you, Megalodon. While many think sharks are the only apex predator in the ocean, I hope today's video proved to you they aren't. The ocean is full of many mysteries that continue to be unlocked. Which one was your favorite? Comment below to let us know. See you next time. Mm -hmm.